Okay, we're going to start with our I can statement first. I can, I can review what I have learned, review what I have learned about, subtraction about subtraction to prepare for my test. Now, as magnificent mathematicians, I know we're ready to review so that we can do our test tomorrow over this chapter that we have started with subtraction. What are some of the strategies that you've done to help you as a mathematician to subtract? And I want you to now quietly think, pair, share, and tell a neighbor. So we've talked about how addition and subtraction are opposites, so doing one can help us to do the other. I'm thinking of some awesome mathematician words we talked about. When addition and subtraction can help us do one or the other because they are opposites. What is that awesome math word, that math term that we use to think about it? I want you to get your answer ready. I want you to think of those two words and on the count of three, you're going to all whisper it to me. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, I heard so many people say inverse operations. You are correct. If we can add, we can turn that around and we can also use it to help us to subtract. So we're going to use that to help us do both. Now we have these numbers, five, seven, and 12. I want you to, on your board to make your fact family triangle. Five, seven, and 12, where would you place those numbers? Okay, we know that we always start with the highest number at the top, so I'm glad when I look around I see, it looks like I have a whole room full of mathematicians who did that, awesome job. And five and seven, now you said seven to the right and five to the left, does it matter where those numbers at the bottom go, necessarily? As long as the two smaller numbers are somewhere on our bottom part of our triangle, right? All right, now we need to write our number sentences for this fact family. I want you to take a moment and write your two addition number sentences and your two subtraction number sentences. Please raise your hand if you can give me one of our addition number sentences. I'm looking for a quiet hand. Brayden? Good, seven plus five equals 12. What would be our other addition number sentence? Jonathan? Five plus seven. Good, five plus seven equals 12. All right, now let's take a look at our subtraction number sentences. Colin, give me one. 12 minus seven equals five. 12 minus seven equals five. And Sydney. 12 minus five equals seven. 12 minus five equals seven. Thumbs up if you got that correct. 